Hi there, here's another design idea for the surprise package template. It would make a great card to give to a child, a teenager or someone you know who's forever young and still loves to read a good comic. This versatile and fun template is available to purchase from my shop and comes with full video and photo instructions. If you want to purchase your copy of the surprise package template, and I'm hoping that you do, please click on the link to my shop on my YouTube channel. The front of the card can be personalised for the person that you're going to give this card to and being careful when I open the envelope to reveal the surprise within without it disappearing off camera. Oh, and there it goes. <laughs> there are two new elements to this fun design that you haven't seen before and that is to use the cube, the pop-up box as a photo cube. I've made little frames on each of the sides and I've also included inserts that I've printed off on the computer. They've been trimmed to fit the frames so that once I give this to Alex for his birthday his mum will be able to take them out and use them as a template to trim the photographs of the birthday boy having fun with his friends. I've also used the computer to print off little birthday messages that I've added to each side of the photo cube. The rest of this video is a quick how I achieve this look. It's not um, a full tutorial on how to put the surprise package together because that comes when you purchase the template. When you're covering the cube and the envelope with papers, just remember to um, ink the edges just for a little bit of definition. You're not trying to go for the complete distressed look. I made my photo frames using two punches, one for the aperture and one for the surround of the frame. You could also use dies to achieve the same effect. Using hot glue to attach the three edges of your um, photo frames will just give it that little bit of depth, the depth that you need to insert the little photo holders that you're going to make that can be replaced later by real photographs. To make a rosette for the front of your card, take a strip that measures 3 quarters of an inch by 12 inches and then score it every half an inch. Flip it over and starting at a quarter of an inch, then score again in between your first score lines every half an inch. That will allow you to concertina the strip all the way along its length. Now when you come to join the strip into a ring, you just need to make sure that you can get a mounting fold um, to sit on top of the mounting fold on the other end of the strip so I've had to trim a little bit off and using glue hold it until it's dry. When you're happy it's dry you should be able to push down on the centre of the strip and it will form a rosette. To keep your rosette in place punch out a um, circle of card and use a hot glue gun to hold your rosette in place, a little bit more glue on top and add a button or decoration of your choice to finish your rosette off. You can personalise the front of your envelope with uh, letter stickers. So the other new design idea was to add a pocket to the inside of the envelope and you can either make it to add a little bit of cash to the person that you're going to give the card to or you can make it slightly bigger um, and tuck in a gift card. So making your pocket the, the right size for either your cash or your gift card and decorating it to match with a piece of comic strip paper. I've used a punch just to take out a little bit at the top of the pocket to make it easier to get hold of whatever you may decide to put inside. Then I decided that foam pads might be a little bit sticky, might stick to the money and might stick to the gift card, but I did need to raise it from the inside of my envelope, so I decided to use thin paper strips that I'm building up um, around in a U-shape around the edge of the pocket. This will allow you to tuck in either the gift card or the money. Now I, I would definitely advise um, increasing the number of layers that you put around the edge of the pocket to three or maybe four because it was a little bit of a tight squeeze. Use the inside of the envelope to personalise further. I've added a little poem that I wrote for Alex and left room so that I can sign the inside of the envelope and obviously I've tucked in that money and I'm sure that Alex is going to have fun trying to pull it out again. 